This is the Business Report, brought to you with the compliments of CIBC First Caribbean. In recent years, hotels in Barbados have been on a more consistent basis, turning to local manufacturers first for the products they need. Word of this from President of the Barbados Manufacturers Association, Jason Sambrano. He says this is the result of an agreement signed three years ago that has fostered stronger links between the sectors. There has been an improvement in the collaboration, especially between um, uh, when the BHTA and the BMA and the BAS signing on to MOU with regards to how to manage the, um, the, the incentives that were granted to the, to the hotel industry and how that is managed in terms of looking inward first before going outside of Barbados to see how we can maximize the use of local, locally produced items, not only you know, in the agricultural sector and in the manufacturing sector. Mr. Sambrano says this has meant welcomed support for agriculture and manufacturing, as well as foreign exchange savings. He also believes more can be done to forge even stronger ties. As with anything, there's always room for improvement, always room to create better synergies, um, to see how we can work towards really helping that economic growth and stimulating it and not just allowing um, foreign exchange to leave the island unnecessarily. 2017 has started off on a positive note for the Sajikor Financial Group. It posted a solid performance for the first three months of the year. Lisa Lord has the details. In its latest financial statement up to March 31st, group net income was 23.4 million US dollars, up from 22.3 million US dollars for the same period last year. Total revenue increased to 282.5 million US dollars compared to 264.4 million US dollars for the corresponding period in 2016. Now, higher expenses were also recorded for the period. They amounted to 115.1 million US dollars compared to 101.4 million US dollars. The higher administration costs were mostly as a result of challenges in the Jamaican market and the incurrence of some non recurring costs in that country. The expansion of cards and payments were also factors. Interestingly, retranslation losses amounted to 700,000 US dollars compared to 6.4 million dollars reported for the prior year. This was as a result of declines in the Jamaica and Trinidad dollar when compared to the US dollar. At the end of March, the group's assets amounted to 6.6 .6 billion US dollars, while liabilities stood at 5.8 billion US dollars. The group's debt for the quarter has been placed at just over 405 million U.S. dollars. Lisa Lord for the Business Report. Thanks, Lisa. Well, let's take a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, 1834 Investments Limited was the volume leader with 1,785,370 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Sajakor Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader, trading 168,291 shares, all for a value of $1,517,183.69. And here in Barbados, Cable & Wireless Barbados Limited was the volume leader, trading 6,044 shares at $2.30 each.